Welcome to the Digital Office Hour. This time we want to talk about the Radon Nicodem derivative. So we basically give some insights into the Radon Nicodem derivative and also show its relation to the empirical probability, the risk premium and to risk neutral probabilities. So as a prerequisite, you should already have an understanding of what are risk neutral probabilities, right? Otherwise, you just repeat the Radon Nicodem idea. So we want to talk about this Radon Nicodem derivative. Okay, so the key is just the, fo just the following. Keep in mind, you can determine the price of an instrument based on two ways, right? You can either use risk neutral probabilities or you use physical probabilities. The difference, of course, is, is whether you use the risk free rate or the SDF as your discount factor. So let's say this price here is the price in zero of some instrument I. And that depends on, you either take the expectation under the risk neutral probability measure. So you take the cash flow that you get in T and you just discount that by the risk free rate. Okay, so there's, a, there's another way to get the price and you can take an expectation under the empirical probability distribution. You take the cash flow which you get so let's say it gets a little i, it gets a little i, it's the cash flow i of instrument i. And now you are discounting that by the SDF. Keep in mind, by definition of an SDF, m0 is just 1. Okay. Now, since these two expectations have to be the same, we can now think about what's the relationship between these two probabilities. Uh, and the relationship if we take the ratio of one of these probabilities relative to the other, that will be the radon Nicodem derivative. So let's just do that. What's the expectation? It's just an integral. Yeah, so we are integrating over all states of the world. We have xt of omega times e to the minus. The risk-free rate can be stochastic. Has an omega here, and now this gets multiplied by the q probability. Now that needs to be equal than that thing here, yeah, which is an integral. It's the same payoff. And now it gets discounted by m. What is m? m by definition is just you are discounting by the risk free rate. And then you have risk premium adjustments. Here you have the market price of risk. You also have integral with regard to market price of risk times the shocks to the SDF. And that gets now multiplied under the P distribution by T and P of omega. That's this expectation here. So what now happens is that everything within the integral has to be the same. So we can cancel out that with that, that with that. So now we get a relationship, you see, between dq and dp. So that implies that the, the distance between the q probability and the p probability, yeah, dq over dp, that is just equal to dq over dp, so it's just equal to what it's here. Yeah? It's equal to minus half okay now that is the radon nicodem derivative yeah the radon nicodem derivative. It gives us the statistical distance between the physical, uh, between the risk neutral probability Q and the physical probability P. And that statistical difference depends only on this exponential martingale of the market price of risk. Yeah? So Radonukodim derivative is nothing else than that statistical distance. 